Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. Let me see. Today is the 17th of November 2021. And we have an unbagging. We have one unbagging. I have no idea what's in it. I do believe this is an item for review. So we are going to open it. I think I would be better off to um, open it through the top. Uh, I don't know how far what is in the bag is. Um, Looks like a small item. I know it's got something to do with the holidays. Yes, I do have bigger, bigger scissors, but since this was closer to me. So how are you doing today? This is in the bag. Well, Well, this looks interesting. This is something completely black color is a cutting line. Let me see. Oh, I'm so excited. It's a, it's a, it's a. It's a, I don't know what. What is this? Okay, this is uh, something that goes there. This goes here. Okay, so let me see. Black color. Black color is the cutting line. Red color is the embroidery trace. Blue color is the folding line. Excuse me? What I can see, this is a bag. I wish there was some, uh, something. Something, folks. Black color is the cutting line. Red color, red color is the embroidery trace. What embroidery trace? There is no instructions in here. Oh, oh, I see there's some, um, so I presume we have to sew this together. It's a bag. Isn't that cute? It's a bag. Well, I'll be. It's something completely new. And um, what I see, this is where we sew it together. The bag like that and then over here we sew on the two handles let me see um i will show you the toolkit the usual toolkit actually no it is not the usual toolkit we have some baggies we have the boat ah uh, we have needle and thread needle and thread what else is in here? The wax, usual. Mm -hmm. And our pen. These are round drills. We don't even need to kit this up, in my opinion. Let 
think there isn't that much here. Okay. Wow. This is something completely new. Oh my goodness. It's a partial, which means the background is already colored. And we are going to do um, the image itself. Can I get you closer? Let's see. We have a bit of green right there. And then we have another green. And then we have some blue. They are all round diamonds. And this goes over there. And the yellow goes over there. And number two, three. And number red, and then so it is a nice cloth bag. So let's see. I got a normal pair of scissors. So let's see what we can do with this. Set. Cut this. Yeah, me in a straight line. Okay. That. And this. It's the two handle. I would say it's like a to perhaps put um, like Christmas candy or Christmas cookies or something like that in a bag. It's a sturdy material. I will show it to you. Like cutting out a pattern for a dress, you know. Used to do that a lot. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is go around here and then snip that little piece off uh, later on. I would say once I am I have sewn this, for those that have a machine, they can actually do it. And I will try to tell you where this came from because I have no idea. But I definitely love it. And I'm telling you right now, I will order more of this because I think it's an excellent idea that um, when I am giving a little present, Actually, the bag itself is a present. Okay, let me try to clean this up. Okay. That one there. These are instructions. It's a nice sturdy material. Seriously. So, I think, um, yeah. Make a nice little gift bag um, filled with goodies or let's say um, you want to give a set of cosmetics, you know, like um, power gel, a shower gel, and um, like a little travel bag of I don't know how do you call it, necessities. Be nice to put it in here. Definitely.
look at sturdy material. Very nice. I told you I have washed the amigurumi dolls and absolutely no problem um, with um, the filling or the eyes or anything else. I put it in like a mesh bag. And um, throw it in the washing machine on 30 degrees centigrade. Absolutely no problem with it. Nothing came out of it. The amigurumi figures did not come apart perfectly. Clean, fresh, and smelling beautiful. Okay, so these are the handles for our bag. Now, let's see. Okay, yeah, I see. So we put this over here. Is that sticky? So we sew this. So it goes here. That one goes there. And there's our bag. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? Okay. And this is for, ah, right here. We stitch it around. I guess we cut it over here and then we stitch around. On the red line, red color is the embroidery trace. And, um, and, 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 oh, I love it. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that, like that. Okay, let's see. Do we need to kit this up? I don't think so. Let me um, hit this pour down glue so we can roll it up backwards. So we're laying nice and flat. Let's see. Actually, we can do both sides at the same time. Okay. Okay. Here's the boat or the tray, whatever you wish to call it. So what's your opinion about it? This is number three, this is number four. Over there we need number two. Two, 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 two. We don't have a two. We need two. Five. Two. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't look um, white there, but it is white. This is uh, symbol number two. This is white. And they are round drills, as I have told you already. What I will do is bring uh, um, the other storage jar for the leftovers that we have. That we might have. Okay. A froggy. And we have leftover jars over here where we can put our leftovers from this one in because there's not that much in there and they are already numbered. Okay, so. Let's get to work on our beautiful Christmas bag. Oh, I absolutely love it. Yeah, what I did is, I should really take off this uh, 
crinkly paper. Okay. And then this is the pen. There was here with it. And somewhere there was a wax right here. I'm not even going to open this because we already have um, one open. So we're going to fill up our pen. You know the procedure. And then we'll give this a little shake, shake, shake. Just a little shake, shake, shake. Let's get them lined up. No, no, no. I'm sticking to the canvas. No, we don't want to stick it up. Do we need this? No, we don't need that. And the background is already colored for us. So we only need to do this part here. Let me um, open this. Yes, it's a pour down glue, so we have absolutely no problem with it. Okay. So we are going to make Christmas gift bag this is something new i have not seen this before would be nice if i could tell where it came from actually i have some blinkies we could have used over here let me see. Where did you come from? I don't know. Sender. Sender, I don't know. Who's the sender? Came from Budapest, but this is from China. Excuse me, which store are you? Okay, let's continue on making our Christmas bag. Okay, so, 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 so. Why did I leave this crinkly paper on? I don't know. I'm trying to get situated here, as you can see. Um, at first, it's a little bit awkward. Awkward. How do you say that? I have been speaking Hungarian all morning long. So to switch back to English, sometimes it takes me a few minutes. And I was so excited to see this. I definitely have to find a company so I can order more. I want at least 10 of these bags. Already my mind is working. What um, small gifts I will put in them. As I said, they're sturdy enough. So I would think the only um, thing that you would have to adjust your gift, what you put in here, is how well you attach the handles. And since the fabric is sturdy enough, um, I don't. Uh, the handles are not plastic; they're um, they're the same cloth as this is. So I don't see any problem as far as um, you know the handle ripping apart or something like that. Well, of course, I'm not about to put a ten-pound gift in this. 
I definitely would use this as a, a small gift, you know, like for some sweets or something. Or if I want to um, give somebody, you know, a little money as a present, then I would put a little uh, piece of sweets or baked goods together with the envelope and put it in this um, bag. I think that would be a very good idea. What's your opinion about this new kind of uh, diamond painting? I think it's absolutely fantastic idea. Um, yeah, I was planning to make some um, Christmas diamond painting um, Christmas cards. Um, I'm hoping to have them delivered also um, this week. I have started uh, ordering the holiday stuff early, so I will not be um, left out from getting stuff like I was last year. I'm expecting some more holiday regular diamond painting pictures. As I said, everything is included in the kit that you need to um, make the diamond painting. So actually, if you don't want to, you really don't have to buy anything extra. But we all love to um, get the pretty extra things that we can get, you know, like accessories. And definitely, I would 100% uh, recommend storage units. Like I told you the last time, if you are in a country where your medicine is in medicine bottles, you can use those. Um, Sometimes you go to a restaurant where they have little condiments in um, little plastic jars with top to them. You can use that. There are many different ways that you can use that are inexpensive if you don't want to, um, you know, spend so much extra on your diamond painting. Especially at first, but once you get into it, then you will want to get the... Um, rest of the accessories. Um, first of all, when your diamond drills are organized, certainly much easier to um, work rather than working from the bag. Like you can see, yes, you can work from the bag. I did that on the first one because in Hungary, there was no accessories for diamond painting. I would say in the past year, it was really starting to um, get into diamond painting mood could have been because we are um, you know we were more restricted but now you know the gray winter days have come and we spend more time inside it's a wonderful time to do crafts Right now I am demonstrating to you that everything is included in the kit, except for the scissors, um, that you need to do your diamond painting with. This is what I've been telling you all the time. Crinkling paper that I'm going to cut. Cut it our way. So, okay, so we cut Mm -hmm. We cut on the line. Blue color is the folding line. Folding. So, so. Blue color is the folding line. So we fold in like that. Uh-huh. I see. And then we embroider along the red line. Uh-huh. Okay, so it goes like that. 
yeah, which definitely would make the handle even more secure. See? And then you, um, you sew around with um, the red yarn that is included and the needle is included and the needle threader is included which I think is a good idea. Okay, so I guess this white is the snow or the fleece or whatever we want to call it on Santa's clothes. Excuse me. They are not uh, blinky drills, but however, I think they're nice and shiny. Considering the fact that I prefer square drills, what is under here? Okay, I'm looking for number two. Uh, I mean, um, symbol. Number two, that's the red and white of the candy cane, right? Right, of course. Now they have uh, peppermint candy canes in this country also. We are getting westernized. We still have the traditional salon sukkah, which is only um, available at Christmas time. It's a special type of uh, candy. wrapped in different beautiful papers, all different flavors and all different prices. There are jelly ones, there are filled ones. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, I'm still looking for symbol two, that's one. Okay, so the next would be his beard. We need to dip our pen. It wasn't as sticky as I wanted it to be. Yes, yeah, so this is white in his beard. And I think we are going to have perhaps a light gray color. I will see what number three is. Yes, number three is a light gray that goes in his beard. Santa got old. Yeah. It's a happy Santa. I guess he's not all tired from delivering all the gifts yet. In Hungary, Santa is December 5th. On Christmas, Santa doesn't come. The baby Jesus and the angels bring the gifts. So there's a special day just for St. Nicholas. And yes, there was really a St. Nicholas. He was a bishop. I thought it was Russian bishop, but then I heard another story that it was Turkish bishop. And, uh, you know, each name has a name day. My name day will be on the 19th, same as Levanta's birthday. He was born on my name day. And uh, St. Nicholas Day is uh, Nicholas's name day. And he was a bishop. And how he came to be associated with gifts, um... There was a very poor man who had daughters and the daughters needed to have dowry in order to be able to get married. If the daughter was not get married, then well, she would perhaps be forced to go on a street to earn her living as a, well, you know, um, 
to be paid for certain services and to in order to um, save the girl from such a fate um, there was really nothing else this poor man could do because he could not afford dowry for the girls so at night the shoes were put outside you know to be clean you don't go in a house with muddy shoes etc but to be precise the bishop put little bags of gold on the windowsill of the girls to serve as their dowry this way they, uh, the father was able to marry them off and save them from a, a fate, you know, of, uh, I don't think I remember, save them from becoming a streetwalker, I don't know how else to put it. Okay, but what happened is that I already have these numbers with a different number. Yeah, we have some leftover, um, okay, so we need to put this in here. Actually, we could put it in a bag, but this is what I mean, that it's rather clumsy to be uh, putting the drills back into the bag, you know. It, it, we are able to do it, but... Um, but I prefer to have them in jars. So what I will do is um, put a number two because this was symbol two on the top of it. And we can put this over here. We don't need to put it away because um, this is not such a big project that we cannot finish. Um, and then this is number three, the next one. Look at his beard. It's a light gray. I thought so, you know, I told you that. I was presuming that that's what it will be. So he has a silver snow frosted beard. Santa does. And he's in a snowy background. He's a jolly little Santa. He's happy to be delivering all the gifts. It's a happy time of the year. No matter which form you celebrate this holiday season, we call it the Winter Festival. It's a lovely time of the year and it gives you a nice break from the gray, dull, you know, cold, foggy, etc. winter days. You have all these lights and decorations and colors and yes, I think it's a very special time of the year. Actually, I love it. I love to decorate. And I am so happy that we found this new type of diamond painting. I have not seen this before. Absolutely adorable. I will find um, the store for you and it will be in my um, comment section, you know. So that's all the beard. So this is number three. Put it there, number two. We already done that, but we have a few left over here. Okay, let me put this over here. Mm 
Why are you stuck in there? Okay, that's it. Okay. I am very happy with this new type of uh, diamond painting. Absolutely love it. Here we go. Thank you very much for spending time with me for this unbagging, showing a new type of diamond painting. There's much more in diamond painting than just pictures that we have been doing. You will see many more holiday crafts as we go along. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Goodbye for now. Please hit the like and the subscribe button. Bye.